Hello everyone, I'm Sharpedo43 once again, bringing you week 4 of the PGL. My opponent for this battle is going to be Demon Voice in the Blackthorn Frogadiers. And um, yeah, this is the team, this is the battle. Uh, I think he's going to lead off with, I don't remember what he's going to lead off with, but yeah. Uh, his team, it wasn't really difficult to prepare for, but at the same time, I didn't, I didn't expect it to be easy either because a lot of his mons actually answer mine. I had to play around his team very, very carefully in order to get around his team and whatnot. But yeah. Anyways, here he's gonna go lead with Landers T. I mean Landers T. <laughs> no, he's gonna lead off with um, Tyranitar. I was expecting this lead because I had a feeling he was gonna expect me to lead with Robombi, which didn't happen. Here I go for Ice Punch on the off chance he tries to go into. Um, on the off chance he tries to go into Tornadus or Decidueye. He does not, he ends up going into Gastrodon. I go for Drain Punch here just to see what he tries to go for. If he goes for Scald, it's whatever. Like, I don't really care about the burn just yet. So, yeah, I, and not to mention, I kind of don't want to give this thing, or I don't want to leave this Gastrodon relatively healthy before switching out, in all honesty. So that's why I decided to just keep going for Drain Punches. The Rocky Helmet plus Life Orb is kind of annoying, but I needed the Life Orb just to be able to do as much damage with Hitmonchan as possible. I stay in and go for another Drain Punch just because, like I said, I want to keep this... Gastrodon as unhealthy as possible like it's I want to leave it as low as possible so that something can just finish it off and I don't have to worry about it just tanking hits for days and whatnot so he's gonna go for Scald it is gonna do quite an amount and he is gonna get the burn unfortunately I was actually hoping he wouldn't get the burn but he does and um here I think here's where I decide to I think here's where I decide to or no he's gonna switch out I think I go for more drain punches because I was hoping he'd stay in just to let this thing go down uh, he's gonna go into this thing now. I go for more Drain Punches. Like, even if I wanted to go for the Ice Punch here, I think it's better to just keep this Hitmonchan as healthy as possible because right now, thanks to this Life Orb and this Burn and the Sandstorm, it's getting crippled down really, really quickly. So I'm actually glad, in, in, in a, to an extent, I'm actually glad I went for Drain Punch there. So now I'm gonna be switching out because this thing is kind of my win condition against the Weavile and the Greninja. If I happen to get it in without, you know, without it changing types, or at least Greninja anyways. And Weavile, if it ends up being like a choice variant, I can just, you know, go for Mac Punch and he'll be locked into like something like Icicle Crash or something. Now here he's gonna go into Tyranitar. I think what he does right here is actually go for the, oh no, he goes for um, Tyranitar, I just Volt Switch. I was afraid of the Gastrodon Switch, but um, at the same time I was just like, eh. What's the worst he can do? Just recover back again. And I can just Toxic him if he tries to do that. So that way he's put on a timer and can't just spam um, recover all the time. So here I go into Gudra. I think what I did, yeah, I go into Gudra. He's going to Mega Evolve. I was hoping this thing wouldn't be faster than me. And what I did right here was just pop my um, Devastating Drake Z move right here. I was actually hoping I'd be able to take it out considering this, um, this Z move is powered up by Outrage which has 120 base power and is boosted by the the Z crystal, Dragonium Z, and the fact that it's stab on Gudra, and Gudra's adamant nature, and it's max attack invested. So I was considering all of this, and despite all that, it didn't even do, well, it probably didn't even do half, which is really, really annoying. Like, how on earth did a max attack invested Gudra with a Z crystal boosted by Outrage not KO this thing. I was I was so disappointed in this in all honesty. Now I kind of regret making Gudra my Z Captain in all honesty. But then again, yeah, yeah, I kind of just did in all honesty. So here, I'm gonna go for Earthquake on the off chance he tries to switch into... or just on the off chance he stays in. The switch into the side of it was a possibility, but I didn't want to risk him just going for like Ice Punch or something. So I just stayed in and went for Earthquake. I know I can outspeed it now, which is really, really good. He went for rocks on the uh, on the turn that I went for the um, Dragonium Z. And here I just went for, uh, what's it called, Fire Punch. He's going to go for Toxic, which is kind of annoying in all honesty because now this Gudra's on a timer. This decided why was kind of annoying as well. Just because it stayed uh, relatively healthy for too long. Here I think I decided to go for another fire punch on the arc. It's because I keep thinking that he's probably just going to stay in. Because, I don't know. And he's just going to go into Gastrodon, I guess. Yeah, he's going to go into Gastrodon right here. 
I go for another fire punch, just hoping he stays in. He does not. He actually makes the wise play and actually switches into Gastron, which I'm assuming he knew was going to take a hit. And not to mention, because he knows I'm a physical Gudra, I'd be taking the Rocky Helmet damage as well. Um... So right here, I just stay in and go for Earthquake. I just want to take something out of his team already, because I don't like the whole him having six mods. Um, well, like, we're already 12 turns into this battle, and not a single mod has went down yet. So I wasn't liking that whatsoever, because I felt like this was going to end up um, becoming like a sweep or something. So he's going to go into Diver Mon. And he's actually going to go for the Ice Beam. This, this Greninja was actually going to be the biggest issue, and I actually already knew this from the start, but honestly, I had no clue... Um, what to expect from it. It's because the fact that it's Protean and a lot in the common set for Greninja is a Choice Scarf. Um, I wasn't sure if he was going to run that or not. It could have been Z-Crystal, but at the same time, I don't know. Here I go into Necrozma just ho hoping that it's um, a Choice Variant. And seeing how he switches out tells me that he probably was a Choice Variant. So what I did right here was just go straight for the Toxic on the off chance it is a Choice Variant. And he ends up switching out, like I said. He goes into the side one here. And this is going to do quite an amount of damage. Well, in the long run, that is. And um, I think here's where I decided to go for the Stealth Rocks. Just because I wanted to get them up already. Because I really... Oh, actually, no, I don't. I switch out because I didn't want to take a Toxic, I guess. Oh, okay, this is why I went into Rotom. I went into Rotom because he, he got his Rocks up. I didn't get mines yet, but I needed my Rocks off the field. And... I wanted to go for Hitmonchan to go for the Rapid Spin, but as long as it's the Sidewise here, he's definitely going to just see the Rapid Spin coming. So I definitely decided to, I have to switch into Rotom. Hope I can take a Spirit Shackle if he goes for it. And um, go for Defog right here. He ended up going for Roost, which is fine with me, because now this gives me a free Defog. Unfortunately, he's going to go into this Tyranitar again. He, he knew that I wanted to go for Defog too, which is really, really annoying. And I think what he's going to do right here is go for another Stealth Rocks, because I went for Defog. What I'm going to do here now as well is go for the, um, what's it called? The Toxic. Because I figure if he's going to just go for more Stealth Rocks, I'll just get the Toxic off to make sure that it's put on a timer so that, like, this basically guarantees my Rocks. Because that's kind of what I needed right now, the Rocks. Because nothing on his team is taking any damage on switching and I felt the need that it's, I felt that it was useful because he still had a Tornado Seed and a Weavile in the back of his team. So I figure why not. Now here he's just gonna go for fine. He's gonna finally go for Stone Edge. I go for Defog, I think. Yeah, I go for Defog just to make sure that he doesn't get his rocks on the field. When I said Defog, it does not guarantee my rocks. I said it keeps the rocks away from the freaking battlefield. I'm such an idiot, I tells you. I'm so stupid, but whatever. He finally takes out my damn Rotom, and now I'm gonna go into Rabondi. This was a mistake, for sure. Because the, the, this is a sashed Rebombi and the Sandstorm is up. So if he hits me with the Stone Edge right now, it could have just KO'd my freaking Rebombi with um with Sandstorm. Which would have been unfortunate. So that, that this was a misplay on my part. He ends up going for Roar for whatever reason. I don't know why, honestly. Because I, I think the Sticky West was very, very obvious right there. But here I'm going to go into Diancy. Or he roars me into Diancy. I just go for Moonblast. I honestly don't know if this was even the right play to make in all honesty. But at the same time, I didn't want to give this guy the opportunity to get his rocks up before he goes down. So I just went for the Moonblast and just took this thing out. Just to prevent him from getting the rocks up. This thing is thankfully going to go down. Because, I don't know. Even though it was defensive and my Goo drops better, <laughs> that doesn't mean that he can't run Dragon Dance. And if he gets enough of those up, um, that's the whole game, basically. So now he's going to go into um, the Sideway right here. And... Um, the speed's gonna fall, but it's not really. It doesn't really matter that much. Here, I switched out because I was afraid of the Leaf Blade. In all honesty, so I went into the Crossmar right here. Not to mention, I also wanted to just get the, the um, the rocks up. He does go for Defog with this Decide away, getting rid of my Sticky Webs, which is unfortunate. But what I'm gonna do right here, right now, is actually go for the the rocks because I finally needed these rocks up because I need that Tornadus to be weakened as well as the Weavile. So I go for the rocks right here. I think here's where he finally goes for Spirit Shackle. Which is like, eh, whatever. He's gonna go for Spirit Shackle, which is good for him because now my Necrozma can't switch out. I'm gonna go for Toxic though, I think. Yeah, I go for Toxic. No, I don't go for Toxic actually. I go for Heat Wave because I already got the Toxic on this, this side away. I think I got it with um, Rotom. 
either Rotom or Necrozmite. I got it with one of those two. But I go for Heat Wave right here. It misses, which is kind of unfortunate because I don't know if it would have been able to KO it from where it was at. But, um, like, yeah, I wouldn't have been toxic. I don't know if this even matters, though, because he can just come in with Weavile and go for, I don't know, knockoff or something. But, yeah, I, I, I do miss the Heat Wave right here. He does get his toxic off, though, which is really, really annoying. And then here, I kind of mispredict. Um, I don't know what I was predicting, honestly. But I just go for Photon Geyser. This was actually risky because if he went into Greninja or Weavile, tch, that would have been that would have been the whole game right there. I'd have no switch-ins whatsoever. But here, oh, oh, I think I went for Photon Geyser. No, okay, I get it now. I went for Photon Geyser because I was afraid of him just going for Defog before I go down the Poison or something, or before he goes down the Poison, and then I can't get my rocks up. He'll go into Greninja or, or Weavile and just take out my Necrozma. That's why I went for Photon Geyser. But he actually ended up going for, I think, Toxic again, or I don't remember what he went for, but he went for something that wasn't switching out. And I just got to take it out with another Heat Wave this time. The bad news of all this, though, is just that my Necrozma got hella weakened, and now anything can just finish it off here. He goes into Tornado's um, Eye here. It does take Rock damage, which is really, really good. Because now I can actually finish this thing off with a, um, with a, what's it called? With this thing. Now here, I make a misplay. I actually went for another Stealth Rocks on the off chance this thing had, um, Defog as well. But this ended up being a misplay because if I just went for the Photon Geyser or even the Heat Wave, I might have been able to take this thing out. And then he would have had to send in either Greninja or Weavile. Something, but, um... It would have given me a switch advantage if I lost Necrozma, which now I don't. Now I send in Rubombi, I do take out this um, this Tornadus with a Moonblast. But now unfortunately, here's where... Uh, this, wasn't, this wasn't necessarily a big issue though. The problem here though was that I do kind of misplay myself here. What I do here is that I stay in with Rubombi just to go for Moonblast again. And he ends up going for Icicle Crash, which does drop me all the way to my Sash. I do get to take out this Weavile, sure, but um, now he has Greninja, which if it has Water Shuriken, which let me be honest with you, I wasn't expecting Water Shuriken on the Greninja just because it's an it's a it's a Protean Greninja, not a not a Battle Bond Greninja. I feel like Greninja nowadays doesn't benefit much from Water Shuriken if it's regular form or Protean form, so I figured maybe he doesn't have it, but he does have it. And here, not to mention, if if this if he did have it, he probably would be choiced into it because he did switch out on my Necrozma earlier. So I figured, okay, it's probably then it's probably choiced. And unfortunately, you're gonna see right here. I go into Diancy thinking, okay, it's probably it's probably choiced. Choice scarf, I to guess. Actually, not choice scarf. I was thinking specs because it this thing outspeeds the entirety of my team, except Rabombi. But here, as you can see, he switches it up to Surf, and this means that yeah, that's the whole game. Now here, I'm gonna go into Hitman Chat. I think here I just went for Drain Punch just on the off chance he tries to uh, I don't know do something else such as this go for water shuriken and then here yeah i do live it because he only gets two hits off i go for drain punch and i am gonna get quite an amount of hp back so yeah i'm gonna go for that now here i end up going for mac punch and the reason why was because i thought that maybe he'll try to now go for surf just to finish me off but no he's gonna go for water shuriken and it's not gonna KO me, and unfortunately, because I was um, not expecting this, on all honesty, I just he ended up um, I ended up losing him in chat anyways. Like if I went for another drain punch right there, I could have maybe taken this thing out, but um, I wasn't expecting him to make that play. I honestly thought the the right play was surf, but he didn't do that, so whatever. I felt like he did that just to showboat in my face, but whatever. I don't really give a shit. Um, thank you all for watching week four of the PGL. Stay tuned for week five, and I hope to catch you guys later.